What's good, YouTube? Tristan here with episode number 40 of our Pokemon Shield post game let's play. In the last episode, I actually don't know what we did, can't remember because it's been a while since I've recorded last. In this episode, I, don't, I think it'll be a bit of a, well, it will be a bit of a shorter one. Um, I don't have everything ready, but I know we're going to be reading some rare cards. We're going to be checking this out and we're we'll finding some stuff. And it's kind of showing what I've done off camera since last episode. Um, Mr. Smith, I used for, for some Pokedex hunting. And he's gotten leveled up. I whole team's gotten a little bit of levels, I believe. Um, as you can see, I've been working on uh, our Wi Fi team. There's three shinies. I, three shinies. Yeah, three. I want for our first Wi Fi team. Um, Ponyta being one. Our next Pokemon on the team, Chudo being the next one. As you can see, I have a lot. I've erased about 15 boxes and filled them back up in total. Um, I've also, off camera, started the decks. Have not finished it. I've mainly only been focusing on um, Galar Pokemon. This week I'm going to do more. Hopefully, uh, I want to complete the decks by next year. But this is what I have some good Pokemon we have in the box um, so that's how it's looking I'm gonna go back to my box 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 things we have left for this let's play Pokedex teams close Kyrgyz random rally uh, rare cards battle tower which is some of the rematches stuff like that is what we have left and the let's play some of this I'm gonna be doing off camera some we won't be I'm not very prepared I'm not gonna be be completely honest but I did just check out a video of a drive that I had on my list for a while. Infinite fossils and rare items. Digging do a guy Pokemon Sword and Shield. Highly recommend it. Checking it out. A drive is awesome. For some reason, you haven't checked them out. But he showed us this in this video, which I do want to talk about. You, we are currently. That's my lead cards. We'll get to that in a second. We are currently on route or in the Wildlands by Bridgefield. This is where the Pokemon Nurseries with a big stretch. It actually isn't the one I use, but there is one here. Um, and right here we have the Digging Duo. Left and right. Um, <clears throat> this is the list of, I think this guy is the Stamina Focus Digging Duo. Right? Huh. Huh. No. This guy is the rare one. This guy is not. I believe A Drive said this guy is a cooldown. While this one you can do like infinitely or some shit like that. Um, the focus, this is a list of rewards focus digging do items for, on Cerebri.net. He gives you bottle caps, comet shards, dawn stones, dust stones, fossilized bird, which is uh, a sword common and a shield rare, fossilized dino, which is a sword common, shield rare, fossilized drake, which is a shield common, but sword rare, fossilized fist. Which the fish, which is a shield common sword rare, gold bottle caps, ice stone, iron ball, lack and tail, light clay, metal coat, moonstone, normal gem, rare bone, shiny stone, sticky barb, sunstone, wishing peace. Now, this guy can go on much further. A drive said here, people are telling him that you can go up to 30 items in a row, like they given him in one set. Um, he gives you damp rock, dawn stone, dust stone, everstone, fire stone, float stone. Fossilized Bird for Sword Only, Fossilized Dino for Sword Only, Fossilized Drake and Shield, Fossilized Fish and Shield, Hardstone, Heat Rock, Ice Stone, Icy Rock, Iron Ball, Lagging Tail, Leaf Stone, Light Clay, Metal Coat, Moonstone, Normal Gym, Rare Bone, Shiny Stone, Smooth Stone, Ro uh, Smooth Rock, Soft Sand, Star, The Star Piece, Sticky Barb, Sunstone, Thunderstone, Water Stone. <sighs> We're gonna do these guys once. No, not her. Oh, back is artist. I went online just because I got a notification for like Snorlax or something we could do in this episode. But he costs 500 watts and saves our progress for some reason. But let's see what he got. Uh, metal coat. Yes. Picked up uh, a few more. Tuckered out. I made to get one treasure this time and it was a metal coat. Alright. He wants to give us it for 500 as well. Saving. He should give us a lot more items. Metal coat. Yes. Stardust, okay. Moonstone. Doesn't give us a ton. We're gonna do him one more time. 
because I just wanted to see what it, it gave us a second option. What was that? I didn't pay attention. Sorry, to us. Yes. Leaf still out of his knees. Yes. Hearthstone. Float stone. Soft sand. Ice stone. I want a fossil, but okay. Not gonna get a fossil, it seems. That was nine. Okay, what else did you say? I'm good. Okay. What's your best record? Okay, this shows you your best record. So that's really cool. You can do these. Uh, I just wanna see. I want. I haven't caught a Snorlax yet. I'm pretty sure he's still going on until the end of the year. I've only failed him, sadly. But that is that. For uh, more to look at, he is right down here. That's the hut. And they're right here. So that's that. Um, I want to see this big purple thing before we continue. I think that means Gigantamax area. Right? I believe. Yeah. Depending on Gigantamax, we might do it. If it's Snorlax, we'll probably do it, actually. Yes. Ooh, nice. Okay, no. That's fine. We won't do it. But like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode. I just want to get some things out of the way. Because <clears throat> I, I haven't really had time to play in my videos lately. But what we're going to do the rest of this video is really just read the new league cards. The rare league cards. We have an album of league cards, right? I believe these are them, right? So we have BD, Rahan, Pierce, Melanie, Opal, Alistair, Kabu, no? Yeah, Kabu, Nessa, Milo, Marnie, Hop, Ball Guy, Rose, Leon, and then these are all the old ones, right? Yeah. Hey, look, my friend. He <laughs> he. Hi, friend. <coughs> Who no, I don't think he ever updated his uh, card. Nope. Told him to because I wanted to see his team, but no. We'll go in order. Why not? BD909. He was appointed by the former gym leader Opal to become the new gym leader of Millennial Stadium. The general consensus, consensus, consensus is that Opal's harsh training has in fact mellowed him out. Though he him himself has never conformed or denied this, it should be noted that he no longer refuses to give autographs. Additionally, it seems like his skills as a Pokemon trainer have also increased rather dramatically. Recently, his intrusion, intrusion during the finals of the Champion Cup has regained popularity in fans. Which to see that kind of performance again, BD himself is not sure how to react. Can I just move on? No, I actually have to stop out. Rahan, 241. Rahan started taking a selfies to, uh, so as to never forget the pain of his defeats. Okay. But more recently, he has been uh, taking photos showing off his training routine, his fashion choices, and, he, like, and the like, causing him some fans to leave harsh comments whenever he loses to Leon. It's true that Rahan is one of the 10 Nile losing streak. It's not a 10 Nile losing streak against Leon, but no other Pokemon trainer has managed to KO as many of Leon's Pokemon as Rahan has. Rahan has, has no doubt look, looks forward to taking himself uh, after final, finally defeating Leon. So, here's my thing, right? So Rahan, 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 I'm gonna say Rahan, um, is the most notable trainer for defeating Leon. Nobody has de defeated more of Leon's Pokemon but him. I beat all of Leon's six Pokemon twice. So I've killed 12 of his Pokemon and beat him twice. So I'm the only person to beat him, only person to beat him multiple times, only person to knock out all his Pokemon, only person to knock out all his Pokemon multiple times. So how is Rahan the, how is he made to care the most? Shouldn't that be us? I think that's poorly written. Pierce is 61. He's, uh, here are some words from Pierce when the first, when he first became the gym winner of Spike Month. Uh, the name's Pierce is too bad. We can't dynamax the Pokemon in Spike Month, but you could say we have a more authentic style of Pokemon battles and I plan on showing that off. And well, I have a younger sister and she's got a way more talent. She's got way more talent than me. But until she's old enough to become gym leader, I'll keep rocking with my crew and make sure Spike One stays alive. I really, really wish, um, like, uh, at the very, very end of the game, once, uh, was it Melanie? No, once Milo, was it? No, sorry. I need to learn these names. Once Marnie became gym leader of Spike Moose, Spike Moose? Mike Mouth, whatever. What is it? Spike Moose, Spike Moose. 
whatever. Point is, once she became gym leader, we could have came back and it would have been like, kind of like a New Yorky thing. I think it would have been really cool if it was like up to beat, you know, and they had all that stuff. But that's just me. I feel like they could have done something there. Or in the sequels, hopefully it's set in the future and shows that off. I don't know. Melanie, number 361. Melly wanted Gordy to take over as gym leader of Churchester. Uh, Gordy wanted to de dedicate himself to Rock-type Pokemon, and Pokemon battle between the two have ended up dividing the whole town. Ever since that day, Melody and Gord Gordy hardly ever see each other. That being said, Melody is supposed to manage to become the first member of Gordy's fan club. Gordy seems to have a complicated expression in their photo together, but then again, that just may be, uh, be one's own imagining. Cool. By the way, I, I when we do um, our shield run, I will make sure I, I read, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, our sword run, I will make sure I read all the exclusive cards in that place. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if you could transfer them over. Uh, Opal, uh, ni uh, 910. Opal has uh, thrust the duties of gym leader onto BD, who had his own gym challenger state status revoked. That being said, she still shows up at the gym stadium every day, giving unsolicited advice, coming up with new quiz questions, and practicing various performances. Why is this pink she insisted Others show her. Maybe a clue lies in the comment she made during an old interview. Keep thinking about the right answers and eventually you'll create the right answers. Okay. I love this card. This is probably my favorite uh, rare card because you get to see his face and he's just like this sad little kid which sucks. Uh, Alistair, number 291. This is a photo that happened to capture Alistair in his locker room. He can be seen collecting the mask that normally hides his face, no doubt confronting the fears and insecurities he feels within. Even though he's taking the role of gym leader at a very young age, it is clear that off the pitch he is still very much a normal boy. However, one mystery remains, nobody knows who took this photo. Some even claim it was a work of ghost type Pokemon. I like this picture of Mimikyu, you know, with the mask. And with the camera, it's like... Uh, Kabu. Number 187. Interview with the challenger, Kabu. Question. How do you see your own battle style? Kabu. In a straightforward direct. I'm so young, so I try to keep these things simple. Just burn as hot as, you, uh, as I can, you know. Still, I've, uh, I fit a bit of a losing streak, so I've tried incorporating Will It Wisp into my Pokemon moveset. That's one thing I want to tell everyone experiment with every possible of your Pokemon moves, abilities, items. Try everything, and there's sure to be a path forward. Nessa, which for some reason is the only one not in her gear. Everyone's in their gear, and her card's just not. Maybe we'll find something out about that. Nessa, number 49. Nessa is incredibly popular both as a gym leader and as a model. Many people even think the gym leader Nessa and the model Nessa are two different people since she shows a completely different attitude in each role. She has the misfortune of being defeated in the first match of the finals and those who knew of her and I don't know this word. What the fuck? Indomitable? Indomitable. I do know that word. Nature worried that it would impact her work as a model. And despite her loss, she was still able to forgive her fan- give her fans a perfect smile. Things were not nearly as peaceful with her gym, however, because she got beat by a guy who's already beat her once. Okay. Milo, 831. Though his record isn't the best due to his focus on simply having fun in battles, Milo himself is incredibly strong. The roles of Hay used in his gym challenge each weigh over 770 pounds, yet Milo can roll them around easily. Lulu tends to roll around too, and sometimes they can get carried away and roll out of the gym stadium. It has become a... It has become common to see the two, whole town chasing after Milo, who is in, is in a turn chase after a stray wooloo along with the Ampere. Marnie, number 960. She was appointed as a new gym leader of Spike Month by her brother Pierce. Pierce caught Morpico and gave it to her when she was five. She still finds herself at the uh, mercy of Morpico's mood swings even now. The local dialect of Spike Month has a distinct tick to it, and many of Marnie's fans have started mimicking her. Marnie won't change her expression even when she gets angry, but once something sets her off, she stays angry for a long time. Hop, 189. You know, a lot of people are saying Hop's the best rival. I don't get that. Uh, he hasn't done a lot. Like, it just, it just kind of confuses me, but okay. Uh, Hop, 189. The truly ultimate, uh, eliminated, the trainer ultimately was defeated in the final match of the Champions Cup. Semi-finals, however, many gym leaders speak highly of his battle style. Who? Who does? It's terrible. Where he will let his Pokemon battle freely and really enjoy himself. During the incident with Internatus, he provided vital assistance in resolving the situation, proving be uh, beyond doubt that he is a skilled trainer of his own. It is expected that he become the new champion and will be the stuff of legend. Expected that his battle with the new champion will become the stuff of legends. It's not like just 
destroy him? Bald guy! This mysterious figure has taken it upon himself, herself, to dress up in the fashion of the Pokemon League official mascot. The mysterious individual is known to many as Ball Guy, but in point of fact, all are uh, mystified when it comes to this person's true identity or age or even gender. While Ball Guy is known for his or her habit, I kind of put her first. If that's the first thing to put him first. That's kind of cool. Of her habit or his habit of handing out rare Pokemon ball, Pokeballs here and there around Galar. It's a mystery. It's a mystery to who or even when, where, there, these balls come from. It's all very mystifying. So we got two left. A Roses League card. Chairman Rose is a dedicated philanthropist who spent much of his own time and money researching the ancient disasters known as the Darkest Day, all in order to solve Galar's energy issues. He firmly believes that actions speak louder than words and will often make decisions without revealing him his thinking to others. For better or worse, it is this style of leadership that has allowed the macrocosmos conglomerate to grow where it is today. The above text was submitted by his secretary. Leon, which is the last one, coincidentally. Number one. Uno, Leon. Leon's dreams even when he was still the champion was to make Galarian trainers, the strongest po trainers in the world. In order to fulfill that dream, he was rebuilt. He was he has rebuilt Rose's Tower into the Battle Tower, a facility that's dedicated to Pokemon battles. People say that he has seemed even more lively now that he than he when he was a champion. Leon has also commented that another reason he likes the tower so much is because it's impossible to get lost inside. Leon's biggest problem now is apparently coming up with a new Signature catchphrase to replace, let's have a champion time! Cool. I believe that is all the rare cards. Which is pretty cool. Thanks to the ball guys though, I remember one more thing I wanted to do. <clears throat> Before we started the episode, I wanted the beginning. I'm gonna turn this off and I have to relaunch it to do so. My hair is wet and I'm afraid it's gonna dry apart like this, which is fine. But, you know, whatever. There is currently a code going on right now. Uh, I haven't done it, I keep forgetting, but since I'm recording, you know, best time. Um, you can get Gigantamax Stormlax for 1 until 1-5. One but, there's all loud, but, 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 there's one more thing we want to do. Is use these cards, co cards, codes. Oh, I forgot, this is a Switch game, I don't do that anymore. I didn't need to do that, that's my bad. Uh, get a mystery gift, that is my bad. So, a new event promotion has begun giving three batches of Pokeballs to players of Sword and Shield. So, we will use these cuts. I'm so stupid. I forgot about that. Okay. So, the first code is K zero U uh, N one N. Oh, you have to go all. You can't. Okay. N1 it mascot. But was it zero? What? But with a zero. Uh, there. There. Wait, what? It's, I don't think it's going to give us anything. Okay, there's set item gifts. That's for gift one. That is four. That is four. Come on. Does it tell me or I have to read it? Love ball, moon ball, and a fast ball. I just messed that up, didn't I? I did. I was gonna say, I already have that gift. Get via code. There's two more. One Y A. Oops. One Y A H A A H A. YA. This is the next set of balls. Which is Heavy Ball, Lure Ball, and Beast Ball. And then there's one more set. This Sarah picture I took a, a, a screenshot of doesn't tell me how long these are going to last. Um, I don't know if you can repeat them over and over again or if it's just a one time thing. But that's that. The last code is really big. I don't want Thank you. Okay. This code is OKU or zero K U G A F 
UK A1 B zero R U. Oh, uh, this is the last thing we do in this episode. I do want to talk about what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish this series off first, right? That is what I've, I've been talking, thinking about. We're gonna finish this series off first. Once the series is done, we will start up our Pokemon Ruby. Let's play again. Now, I'm just going to finish Pokemon Ruby. I'm not gonna do anything else. Once we finish Ruby, I'm gonna start two Let's Plays. Um, we're gonna do another Extreme Randomizer, which I think I know the game, but I just wanna double check before I say anything. And then that's gonna be our main thing, our Extreme Randomizer. Then, uh, we'll have a secondary series, back to like how it was before Sword and Shield, and that series will be our Pokemon Sword Nuzlocke. So that will be the thing that we're gonna do. But guys, that's gonna be it for episode 40. Um, this is a small episode. Next episode, we are, I'll probably be playing more. I have to record it tonight. Uh, we're probably only going to have two or three videos this week because of the holidays. But, like, I, that, but, 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 like that to be said, I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys next time. Hope you have a great week, month, all that fun stuff. And like I said, if you did enjoy, leave a like, all that fun stuff. I'm going to get out of here. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.